how to get commercial cleaning accounts without appearing desperate. Well, you know, that's that's something that, that can happen um, when you get in front of that prospect, and especially if you're a new company, you will, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of anxious, you don't have any, you don't have any clients, or maybe you have one or two clients, so, you know, you may, uh, when you're in that conversation with that prospect, you may uh, offer to lower your price to, just to get the job. So, that's the very first thing, is do not lower your price to get the job. You, uh, you know, that's just being desperate to, 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 get the, to get it, and you don't need to do that. So, think about that. Something else that you don't want to do is don't have an endless scope of work. Now that's a common mistake, mistake too. Is that you'll you'll offer more and more services, you know, just to, to probably thinking that you're giving a lot of value to that prospect, but in uh, in reality, what you're doing is that you're loading up the scope of work that it's going to be very hard for you to even be able to deliver on it, um, with, for the for the price that you that you've probably quoted. So don't do that. Don't have an endless uh, uh, endless scope of work. Uh, and you don't want to uh, do any name dropping, you know, several times. So as you're having a conversation with the prospect, you know, don't be saying, well, you know, X, Y, Z over here, you know, or, and, and, and continue to mention that name over and over again. Um, you know, just don't do that uh, because you are going to appear desperate. Uh, something else you don't want to do is don't offer free services. Now, I've seen this happen many, 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 many times. Uh, I've seen one company that was even offering a 30-day free free service if you sign up today well boy that to me that sounds very very desperate uh, and I wouldn't I wouldn't even do that um, you know there's no way that you're gonna be able to make up that lost profit uh, by offering a 30-day free service uh, so just don't do it you know don't appear desperate something else that you don't want to say is that you'll start tomorrow Again, you know, you're, you're getting excited and, you, and you're, you're just trying to do and whatever you can to please that client and tell them what they want to hear. So, you know, don't do that because, again, you're going to appear desperate. And the last thing that I want to mention is, is that don't promise the world. Again, that kind of goes back to, goes, uh, back to my uh, endless scope of work, you know. Um, but it happens, you know. Uh, the prospect may be saying to you, well, can you do this, can you do this, and can you do this? And before you know, your, your scope of work is twice the size that it was. Uh, and in other cases, what they'll do is that they'll do that because actually that's uh, once you've got the job and they, they start doing that, can you do this, Could do, can you do this? That's actually called scope creep. Um, so, you know, don't promise them the world and don't offer them scope creep. Uh, even before you got the job. You just don't want to do that. So, you know, so those are some of the things that you don't want to do uh, to appear desperate uh, to get uh, commercial cleaning accounts. So, uh, you'll find much, much more on the janitorialstore.com. Uh, you know, we have a wealth of articles there, hundreds and hundreds of articles on how to build a successful cleaning business. So, check them out because it will help you to avoid uh, looking desperate uh, to get commercial cleaning accounts. So hopefully you found this helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And if you haven't subscribed already to our channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And uh, thanks for uh, checking in today, and uh, we'll see you next time.